My grandfather started a business in 1933, and it was portraiture, commercial photography, weddings, things of that nature. Photography has always been in our family. I am in my 34th year at Normandale, and I have taught uh, photography, drawing, both beginning and advanced, and also I do a class in design and mixed media. My first study abroad was at Oxford in England and it was the year 2000. I was the lead instructor and it was a full semester. This has been passed to Her Majesty who has asked that her warm thanks are conveyed to you for your thoughtfulness in producing this album for her. The photographs are a happy reminder of the enjoyable time she spent in Oxford. Oxford kind of kept the Queen's arrival at Oriel College low-key. You know, they really didn't want a lot of spectators, and so it wasn't until the night before. I went into my office and just checked email and found the Queen was going to be arriving at Oriel. I woke up and it was just very stormy and very, very dark, and I thought, well, I don't know if I really want to stand out in the rain. But I went early and I began looking at where some of the police were kind of strategically placed, and I realized I should stand here at the top of this horseshoe drive. And then eventually a crowd showed up. They put ropes up and people were kind of pushing. And this man was standing next to me from Germany and he said, are you photographing the queen? And I said, yes. And he said, I will make sure that no one pushes you. And so he literally just kept everyone away from me. And when the queen came out and was right in front of my camera, he said something very, very sweet to her and she just immediately just sparked and I was able to get one of my favorite shots actually of her. So I photographed sequentially her arrival and the camera didn't leave my face. <laughs> I was shooting film and I actually took it to a one hour photo service at um, a pharmacy called Boots in Oxford and I timed it, it was like, it'll be done in an hour, I came back in an hour and when I got back, the people at the pharmacy wanted to know who I was. And I, my first thought was, oh, they have sold my pictures. <laughs> my colleagues at Oxford saw the pictures and they really thought it should be put in, in some format and sent to the Queen. And I kind of thought about it for a while and I thought, oh, she's not going to be interested in this. But then I thought, well, you know, I've done a lot of book binding. I could do something very original. So I handbound two books and returned to Oxford the next year and I gave Oriel College a book because I really wanted Oriel to treat our students in a good way. I was kind of extending an olive branch. One went to the Queen and one stayed at Oriel. On October 25th of 2001, which was the year that I went back and took the books, the Queen sent me a wonderful letter. It was actually sent by, I believe, her secretary and it has some written comments of her warm thanks and I appreciated receiving the letter because when I sent the book to the Queen, I was told that people go through her mail and she might not see it at all. So it was nice to know that she did see the book. I felt very sad learning of the passing. I think the Queen just is an icon that promotes a lot of neutrality and peace in the world. It was nice to know that I had that experience. Recently, some of my friends in England, we've been in contact through email with about the Queen's death. They had not known, some of them, that I had made these photographs and they were just touched by them. And one of my friends said, uh, it's amazing. She saw and touched so many people's hearts. She really did get out there.